are gathering here today for something we call the Circle of Protection. We're here to celebrate each other and this incredible resistance community that's here. We're standing by the window. Mountain Valley Pipeline has effectively carved a 300 mile sacrifice zone across the landscape from northern West Virginia down to where the mainline project would end in southern Virginia. Fossil fuel infrastructure, specifically the Mountain Valley Pipeline, is dangerous in numerous ways. I firmly believe they have uh, impacted my water. I actually don't even have the water turned on in my house anymore. The emissions are dangerous. It hasn't been turned on since last August. Pipeline infrastructure itself is dangerous. I, I am afraid of the, tox the toxic. Uh, stuff too. The pipe itself is thinner in rural areas than it is in urban areas. I've had terrible water problems ever since. Folks are looking for ways to engage on climate and environmental justice across generations. Third Act stands for justice. Deborah and I go back a ways. I am 67 and a half. <laughs> that elder leadership has always been there. Third Act is Bill McKibben's latest environmental organization. It's for elder activists. What Third Act is doing is a natural extension of that. They make a, a good partner for climate and environmental justice organizers everywhere. I retired five years ago as early as I possibly could because although I loved my job, I felt there was so much more I needed to do. For the planet. I think Deborah has really helped raise the visibility uh, of the MVP fight. People are seeing that that we're all called to do something. Long before all of this heightened awareness of what's been happening down here, Deborah was out there, you know, uh, organizing against uh, some of the banks involved. Because these banks have the ability to change the course of the future. Fossil fuels depend on lending. That generation knows they have something to contribute, absolutely, um, especially when other folks, younger folks, might have all of these other pressures on them. Many people of elder age feel discounted, and many elders feel like they're just on the downhill side of their life. People who are in retirement probably would like to just be enjoying retirement, but recognizing that this climate crisis affects all of us and is actually affecting all of us right now. It makes perfect sense for us to gear it up into motion because we've got the time. Many of us have the energy. It's inspiring to see elder generations stepping in in that way. We also have the wherewithal because People 60 and up in this country control 70% of its wealth, which is a shocking figure, but it also lends credence to the fact that we have clout. We have this clout not only with our money and our power and our energy, but we have this, um, uh, I call it a gray superpower that we've got, that because we, we are of a certain age, that we make people do double takes. The cancellation of Atlantic Coast Pipeline signified that people can fight back and can win. We won't be dismissed as elders. Thank you for watching. Continue to follow Virginia news and stories by subscribing to our VPM YouTube channel.